Josh Hart once again in his Nick debut. 11 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists, 4 steals. And of those 7 rebounds, 4 offensive rebounds. And as I said, a big one led to an R.J. Barrett corner 3, which pushed the Knicks lead from 3-6. to six. And Hart also chipped in with two threes in the fourth quarter, which was big, shooting 30% from three. Got two nice opportunities, knocked it down. As you said, he started the game off, attacked the basket, got to the line, and then on the next possession, gets out in transition, gets the layup uh, off the pass from Brunson. He finds, uh, he, he's pushing the pace again. He finds Brunson for three. Pushing the pace again in transition, he finds Obi for a layup. Mm -hmm. And so... You know, not to be a prisoner of the moment, but I think in this game, you saw why the Knicks traded for him, and this is the guy that they're getting. You know, th this is the guy that they're getting in Josh Hart. It's it's a guy that's he's going to fill it up across the stat sheet, right? It's not going to be glitzy. It's not going to be glamorous, but he's impactful, man. He's very impactful. Four offensive rebounds was major. You know, he's all over the boards. Um, the Knicks were able to win the second chance points battle tonight, 24 to 8. And a lot of guys, you know, that was, a, you know, 20 offensive rebounds, but Josh Hart accounted for four of those, and they were very impactful. Um, his aggressiveness on the defensive end was was good. I thought, I thought he was solid tonight, man. Pushing the pace, getting them out in transition, and just being all over. Like you said, he's a connector, a glue guy. And he played the whole entire fourth quarter tonight. So, mm -hmm. so for the people asking, is this guy gonna play? You know, yeah, nice he's trade. Playing. Is this guy gonna play? Oh, he's playing. And so for Grimes, for IQ, for Deuce, and even for RJ, you know, you hope iron sharpens iron, but they gotta be on high alert and come with their A game because this is a Tibbs guy, and this guy is going to play. So everybody's gonna have to step their game up because. Josh Hart is here, man. He, he's going to play, and I thought he had an outstanding, outstanding game, bro. First game, not only is he playing critical fourth quarter minutes, but played 26 minutes, man, in his first game. Let's also go, let's also rewind it back before the half. He closed the half. RJ was on the closed bench. The half. Closed the half. Just got here. You know what I mean? So, like, it was Brunson, IQ. Hart, Randall, and Sims to close out that, that close out yeah. the first half. Yeah. That already tells you that should already tell you how Thibodeau views this guy. Critical on defense. You see it. He's able to attack the passing lanes. He's a he's alert. He's on high alert. Four Every steals. Single, four steals. Four steals tonight. You see how he's just rotating. He's fighting over screens. He's a dog, man. That man is a hound. The difference that we it's just adding on top to what Tom Thibodeau likes to do and having a defensive stalwart type style team, like that's what Hart brings. And in his first game, like that's just I, I this is where I just piques my interest to see how is this going to continue for the second half of the season after All Star break because we're close to All Star break. We got two more games before yeah. that happens, and then that's the that's the last leg, right? Yeah. Then you're talking about playoffs, seeing where that how that changes. We talked about how the Nets. You know, they just lost tonight. So we'll see. But for Hart, this is great, man. This is yeah. great just to get this type of impact. As for Deuce, you already see. First game, he's active. Deuce is out. Right. We're still with this nine-man rotation. Done. Grimes played 22 minutes tonight. Instead of getting his normal 30 minutes. Still struggling with the shot, man. Still struggling he's, with the shot tonight. Uh, he's, he's, he's still struggling. A, he's and I got, I, I got those stats that you asked for because I checked in the post game. Yeah, you asked that. for stats on... For open shots, I got those, so we can get to that later. Yeah. But, you know, getting back to, to Josh Hart, 26 minutes in his first game, man. That's I'm big. really curious to see. And you even see, like, it's 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 all three of those guys. It is Deuce, it is Grimes, and it is RJ. Those are the three guys. Not quickly. They want a secondary ball handler and yeah. shooting. But you see where the, you see where Tibbs is looking for. He's going to have him out on that wing. He might even be guarding just like how Grimes does, the best perimeter defender or sure. offensive player. For mean. sure. I mean, so that may change. Make it, yeah. yeah, both of them out there, but Hart already making a, already winning the Hart. It's nice. Of one. New York. It's a nice one, man. Nice one. <laughs>
Wait, wait, wait to end the segment. Wait to end. Wait to end it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he was he was very impactful. And uh, right now they got him and Brunson at the podium talking right now. And so uh, nice, nice moment for him to uh, to help get the team to a win. He seemed like he was very uh, ecstatic to be a Nick. You know, won't repeat the uh, the post that he put up on IG because this is a family show. But he was very, very excited to be a Nick. And and we'll, we'll play that soundbite in terms of uh, his, his pregame press conference for sure. But um, yeah, very, very good, solid debut for Hart. And... You know, with this team, as you mentioned, the second half, and somebody left us a, a comment on last night's show, like, there's there's less than 20, no, there's, there's 20 games left, so technically the second half has already started, but, you, you know, we know what you mean. After the All-Star break, half, whatever. Um, look, Stop dude, being technical. Yes, <laughs> right, right. People like to argue semantics, just, just, to, just to argue, but um, this team, the identities is obviously, yes, it still has to be defense. Offensively, they're gonna ride Jalen, ride with Julius, and the supporting cast is gonna fill in. Whether it's uh, Hartenstein right now for Mitch, we still don't have a timetable for Mitch. Uh, Hartenstein's playing very well. Again, fourteen rebounds was major. He had six offensive rebounds. That was big. A guy like a Hartenstein, you know, a team like the Knicks that doesn't shoot the ball over in too well, those guys are gonna be relied upon to extend plays. Mm-hmm. You're going to need it, just like Mitch does a- as the anchor. Uh, those guys, especially hard on the perimeter, I think that's why he's he's going to be out there, man. He's he's going to be out there because you need extra possessions, especially the way that this team uh, sh- is so inconsistent in terms of its shooting. So yeah. And then if you and then you know if you can if you can get this type of uh, performance from RJ that he had in the second half, uh, I like it. You know, it was, it, I like it. They got to tighten up on their point of attack defense. Night wasn't good at all. They had Clarkson, THT were cooking them. Good players, but they were cooking them. Sexton as well. But overall, you know, this is this is the team. This is the team they going to war with. Yeah, I'm cu- I'm so curious to see what this team looks like when Robinson gets back because you talk about second chance opportunities, Hart, Mitch. That's going to be dynamic, man. That's going to be yeah. awesome. Right now, the Knicks are third in rebounds per game on the league for the season. They are second in totals, total rebounds. I mean, with Mitch and Hart, they may they may even be first because you just see how aggressive he is. He's just hunting them down, quickly hunts them down. Robinson, you know, about second chance opportunities. Yeah. And for a team that doesn't shoot well, as you already noted, it's going to be huge, man, especially if you're talking about playoffs and getting second-chance opportunities. And we already know Mitch is good with putbacks. But if you can get it to open shooters like Hart was doing tonight, you talk about finding RJ. He's finding Brunson. He's finding Randall. you know? And I think for Hart, just going back to that, the fact that he played with Randall over in L.A. and the fact he's played with Brunson before, this has to be somewhat seamless for him, right? Yeah. Yeah. So... Yeah. I'm I'm just I'm I'm excited to see this team moving forward now. Yeah, he, he's a plug and play guy, you know, so he he shouldn't have any issues uh, getting acclimated. He, he's he's a plug and play guy. 